Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. Today's video is going to be about the Fiona Styles Makeup. So I have this product for like more than a month now because they went on clearance at Ulta. Some of them are still sold at the Ulta website, but some of them are on the clearance rack. So if you guys are wondering whether to purchase this or not, I know that this um, company is going to be at QVC. This is actually a prestige brand in Ulta. So if you guys want to see how well they perform, jin, 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 just please keep on watching. Jin, jin, please keep on watching. Okay, so the products that I have here with me is the Luminous Finish Foundation. You guys know that I am very oily and I don't really like anything luminous in my face because I feel like a cesspool of oil. <laughs> but I've decided to give this one a go. This is not actually even my shade, but I badly want to try it because I was thinking in the back of my head, you know what, I can just mix it or make up with it with the powder that I'm going to use. So let's say that this is a little bit darker than my skin tone. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use a powder that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone so that way it could contrast my face to make it look like a little bit okay do you know what i mean i hope it makes sense and look at the packaging of this please adore the packaging i love it so the cap of some of their products are magnetized which is pretty cool i love the fact that this is heavy and the shade that i have here is seven and of course just like any other foundation this is 30 ml i really love the packaging to me it's it looks really luxurious and i love it it's heavy and everything that's heavy feels lux luxurious to me <laughs> and i have two lipsticks from them i love the fact that the packaging of the lipsticks is magnetized look at that it just clings on the packaging i love it it's I'm not so sure if I've never tried any other lipstick that has a magnetized packaging. This feels a little bit heavy as well, which I absolutely love. I don't know if you guys are like me, if you care about the packaging or whatever, but to me, packaging has an impact every time I'm buying something. Sometimes in the, drug, in the drugstore, given the fact that they are drugstore products, not all of the packaging is bomb. Usually it's just a flimsy plastic or anything like that but this one is to me if you're going to ask me this is fancier than the mac classic packaging but you know these are different companies this is their style but i love i really love how it looks and the box i already threw the box of this one these are both um okay this is a soft matte lip color signature soft matte lip color and the other one that i have is Hydra Shine Essential Lip Color. Now I'm gonna swatch the signature soft matte lip color first in the shade Blix. I have no idea why is this lipstick sweating. Do you guys know? Because if you guys know, please let me know. So I always store this in my drawer, so I, I'm not so sure why it's doing that. So this shade is more of like, it reminds me of the Naked Heat palette is the best or the easiest way to explain that. And the shade that I have from Hydra Shine Essential Lip Color, obviously I have tried that one as well, but I will be giving you my overall thoughts at the end of this video. This is a Barbie pink color. I'm not sure how much is the price right now, now that they are in QVC. This is more of like a fuchsia Barbie pink color and it has this like a satin finish i love it and the next one that i have here is this ultra suede high intensity lip color so i have three of them by the way how many grams is the lipstick this is 3.2 grams each and these liquid oh these liquid lipsticks are six grams and this shade is grand might as well show you right now look at this packaging it's like super heavy and it's like i love it feels so luxurious look at that that is insane like come on guys that is really pigmented but so the next shade that i'm going to show you is cherry street oh look at that crosby Crossby, Crosby, I don't know. 
and this is more of like the color reminds me of a pomelo I don't know what's that in English but it's like this pink fruit when you open it up okay kind of looks a little different in the packaging but whatever let's swatch that for you guys Ooh, that's a really nice Barbie pink so most of these shades most of okay what do you mean most of these shades these lip products they do not completely dry at all just want to put it out there they do not dry but they do do not bleed which i absolutely love so they do not dry they do not bleed which is really really good and the best thing about this is that all of their lip products are long lasting so this first shade right here I find it a little bit sheer and this one is a little bit pigmented but their liquid lip products is oops is amazing the last product that I have from them is this invisible finish loose powder in Miramar and how many grams is this one 10 grams so that's not like a lot and it's actually really expensive and the reason why I got the darkest shade is because I am using this as a contour for my face. I've already tried this luminous foundation before probably like five times and it's a good thing that this product has a pump. I'm gonna do one pump first and I'm going to directly put that on my face. I'm gonna do half of my face first so you guys could see what it looks like. It is really nice. This is not my shade, I know that for, let me, Ooh, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, you can still see my allergies. Ooh. Did I get did I got dark for some reason? That's weird. And then I hope you guys could see what that looks like in my face. I'm not gonna put any concealer anymore. Just the powder on top of this. I hope my skin allergy would go away now because it's really frustrating. Now I understand how people feel when they are having skin problems. Like this is, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. But yeah, this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. I really love how the way it looks. I wish I know a, a powder that will make my skin looks exactly the same because if you if I use a mattifying powder after this, then it defeats, kind of defeats the purpose of me using a luminous foundation. All right, so I'm just gonna set this up and then I will be using this loose powder that I mentioned that I will be using as my contour powder, okay? It looks like my contour is diffused. For my lips, I will be using the shade Grand. I don't know why I always go to the shade. Like, I have three of them, but I, lo I just love how pink it is. Like, it's a dark pink, kind of. So this is the final result of me using my Fiona Styles makeup. I love each and every one of them. The foundation gives you this really nice glow into your skin. I can't say that it's like the super most long lasting foundation, but if it's going to be removed in your face, it's not crackling. There's no breaking, which I absolutely love. It fades out gracefully in your face. You don't look like you're muddy at the end of the day with an eight hour time frame period. It's not gonna look muddy. It just looks really nice and flawless, except today because I have an allergic reaction to something that I still don't know where it's coming from. Moving on to the lipsticks, I absolutely love it. So when you eat something oily, they tend to be the first layer, just like what I mentioned a while ago, they do not completely 100% dry. It's very moisturizing. I feel like it's more of like a cream type of formula. If you eat something oily, just like any other lipstick, they will be removed. However, they will be an equal amount of stain on your lips. So even if you do not retouch throughout the day, that would be 
absolutely fine. There is nothing to worry about. Their liquid lipsticks is something that, uh, it doesn't completely dry, but I love it. It does not bleed. You only need one swipe to cover her. It like, it's full coverage, okay? It's a really nice formula as well. It's like one of the best liquid lipsticks that I have ever tried. So if you guys have seen this in the clearance rack, please grab one and you will absolutely know what I'm talking about. The only problem that you will have on this one is the color options because most of the most of the nude shades are already out. Now I understand why everybody went crazy when this one was like 70% off because this product is amazing. It's too bad that they, they didn't even last at Ulta because if this is not going to be going on sale, I don't think I will ever be trying it because it's expensive. And um, for the last product, this is actually my favorite. My favorite contouring powder is Smashbox. And this is my favorite contouring loose powder as of right now. I know that there are a lot of things for me to try when it comes to loose powder contours, but so far... I am loving this. In fact, I bought two of these. And if I see one in the store laying around unopened, I will definitely purchase another one because look at this contour. It looks so se seamless. It doesn't look like sharp as hell. It doesn't look fake as... Okay, I'm not about to say a bad word. But anywho, I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you guys are interested with this brand, they are selling it in QVC right now. Too bad it's not going to be in Ulta anymore. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment box down below. Were you able to try this brand when they are on sale? Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.